On Triple J, I have Richard Roxburgh in the studio, who is the star of the brand new movie that James Cameron executively produced, I suppose. He, he did, did 3D and stuff. Uh, he was on the breakfast show a couple of weeks ago. Now, as you said, it was based on a true story. Andrew White, the co-writer, is actually a cave diving guy. Yeah. And so was he there like as you were filming? Yeah, look he was he was a producer on the film as well as co-writing it. So he was there and he, he's kind of intimate with all of the technology, mm-hmm. all the equipment that we had to use. So he was our, our advisor in that sense too. And he was the the the, the he led the exhibi- exhi- exhibition, no, expedition in the uh, in in the actual story that influenced this to a degree. And so I guess your character is kind of him. Was was that a bit strange? Um, look, it wasn't really him. It's a kind of, you know, it's an extrapolation from, but, you know, these guys really are hard asses. They Mm -hmm. have to be to successfully lead an expedition like this down in a place like that. It has to be done with, I suppose, a kind of military precision. And, and, uh, you know, there's no room for making the simplest of mistakes. The, The most seemingly innocuous of mistakes can lead to a sort of, you know, terrible undoing of things, which is also what happens in Sanctum. Not to mention you have to be really ripped, <laughs> which, which Richard, I, I must say, you do like to get your shirt off in the last few things I've seen you in, and you seem... To- <laughs> well, get it while it's there. Well, you was- know, it won't last. I, I, I've <laughs> gone to fat since. I was talking to, uh, talking, uh, to a friend of mine at the gym this morning, uh, and we were talking about the fact that in, in Rake, you also get your shirt off quite a lot, but it, it seems that it's a different sort of muscle mass. Did you have to develop different muscles for this? I don't know if this is something that, as an actor, you like talking about. <laughs> it's not something I'm really accustomed to talking about. I, what happened in Sanctum, and this is the honest truth, is, um, yes, look, we had to get fit before we started, but we got much fitter during the filming because these bloody 3D cameras stopped operating when they started to warm up. And so they kept the studio at about 16 degrees. And we're filming in water. You know, we're the actors swimming in water. All Mm -hmm. the crew had sort of puffers on. We're filming in water. So we're freezing cold. So in between all the takes, we were constantly down doing exercises just to keep, to keep, (laughs) to stay alive, basically. And so that was, you know, we got super fit doing that. That's pretty, that's, that's, that's wonderful. Um, I, was just, I was talking about the idea of you playing character whilst the actual person looks on, because of course, uh, you are no stranger to that. You know, you played Bob Hawke, knowing full well that Bob Hawke would comment. Mm-hmm. Um, what did he, what did he end up saying about that? Look, Bob and Blanche were big supporters of the project. And we, you know, it was important to us that they did like and respect what we'd done. It was important to me that they didn't take issue with things. There were a couple of things, interesting things that Bob didn't like. One of them was a scene in which he was seen to sort of punch somebody out. Mm -hmm. And and he he deemed that a kind of act of violence that he would never have have propagated, (laughs) Um, which was interesting because Blanche talks about his, you know, that very thing in in her own autobiography of Bob. But, But that's another story. On the whole, they, they loved it and were supporters of it. Right. I'm talking to Richard Roxburgh on Triple J with the Doctor. We should talk a little bit more in a little while, but I, I've been informed that uh, Ramstein is a band that you're quite fond of. Now, how did this come to be? I have no idea. I just, you know, I, I, I just absolutely love them. I suppose it's because when you see footage of what they do live mm-hmm. and the fact that Till is a sort of pyrotechnic, every member of that band has yeah. a pyrotechnician's license. Um, that for me is kind of great theatre. And, you know, when you see footage of what they do live, it's, <laughs> it's just sensational. It, it is the theatre does almost take precedence to the music. A little bit. I, I just love what they do. It's kind of Kurt Vile um, hits industrial mm-hmm. metal and catches fire. Yes, with with a with a and then put out by a big blanket of campness. Yeah, over that's the whole right. top of it, Absolutely. which is wonderful. I saw him at the big day out uh, maybe ten years ago now, so I'm stoked that they're going to come back um, in starting this Sunday on the Gold Coast. Let's have a listen to Ramstein. I'll keep Richard Roxbury here for a little bit longer um, to have a bit more of a chat on Triple J with the Doctor. This is Du Haas.